Good morning, we're just about to start phase two of raising the house. As you'll recall, we are bringing the floors and the roofs of this house up 16 inches and we're doing it in two stages. We've got block walls in the old section so we can actually raise the floors up inside the house on top of piers rather than having to lift the whole house. So we've done that in the old section. We've got new floors installed 16 inches higher than they were. And as you can see, the, this section is about 16 inches lower than that section because that one's got the new raised floors. So this, the additions, the, the uh, stick additions, will be demolished and rebuilt 16 inches higher, but the, the old block section will be, uh, will be saved and we're just going to lift the floors up and then raise the ceilings, raise the roofs on those sections. So we're just about ready to lift the roof in this section. The first step was to demolish the little addition on the back and the front porch and detach the side additions. So we cut the roofs, we just sliced the roofs all the way through on both of the side additions so those are disconnected uh, from this center roof now. And we've done a lot of bracing here. We've got we built these trusses to strengthen the roof. We've got two of those and we put some rafter ties up there, just some temporary 2 by 4 rafter ties just to give it a little lateral strength. And we reinforced both gable ends by screwing some 4 by 4s onto those jack studs and those connect to the sill down below. We doubled up the, the rim joists on both gable ends and then we built three 20 foot beams. They're built up beams, uh, triple two by sixes that span all of the ceiling joists. And so that will give us even load distribution as we do the lift. We've got one of these on both sides and one in the middle. And we've got some six by six posts connected to the beams. And those are screwed in so they will just hang there and won't fall on someone's head when we have to adjust the jack. And we've got a bottle jack underneath each of those posts. We've got four posts. And that, those are what will do the heavy lifting. And then we've got a whole bunch of these big shoring jacks. Those will go under the beam as well. That'll give us some extra support and stability and that'll give us a way to lower the roof back down on top of the new framing once that's built. So a little more prep to do today and we'll probably do the lift tomorrow so stay tuned.